Hi guys, I'm here to talk about the 3.8 liter Pajero. I had uh, about a year back replaced the music system with a 10 inch Tesla screen Android uh, unit. It's easy to uh, fix, easy to replace. Uh, as you know, the original uh, Pajero has a Rockford Fosgate uh, music system. This one is just a head unit which is getting replaced when you change into an Android uh, Tesla screen. The amp and the speaker remain the same. So uh, the power output is kind of the same, uh, but you get the added features of uh, playing videos or, uh, or you can install any number of apps. Since it's an Android system, you can download and install apps onto it and uh, use it just the way you use your phone. And, and uh, one of the biggest advantage which I found was I could use, uh, I could download uh, Google's offline maps onto it and then use it. Uh, and in case I need to get traffic uh, update info, uh, I just connect it uh, via Wi-Fi uh, with uh, my telephone and then uh, I get uh, live updates. The unit has been there with us for over a year and I've used it extensively. I've got one issue that the AC controls sometimes don't work. It's a touch screen, it becomes unresponsive. You know that the original AC controls are huge chunky knobs which are easy. Uh, without looking at it you can just uh, adjust the temperature or the fan speed and things like that. But in this being a touch screen and being not so responsive sometimes it has a significant amount of lag and sometimes it just freezes up. So I'm not really happy with the AC controls. That's one of the issues which we need to tackle today. So let me just show you how things work uh, so that you get a rough idea how uh, the controls and the system works in the 10 inch uh, Android Tesla screen. It takes a short while for the GPS to locate the satellites and once that's done, it's quite accurate. Let me just show you the number of satellites it receives signal from. The radio works fine. issue which I'm having is with the AC controls so when I touch this right now it's working perfectly fine I can turn up my speed or up or down or the temperature up or down turn on the rear AC turn it off it's working fine but occasionally when driving it's not easy to control these controls to solve this issue, I need to remove the Android unit and then fix the old AC control unit. So one of the places where I can install the controls is right over here. Now nobody uses this card holder and it's one of the most hated features in the Pajuro. So I need to remove that and try to get my old AC controls into that. Now to do that, I will have to remove the unit and I'll have to remove this panel and to remove this panel it's got two screws somewhere around here and to remove those nuts I need to bring down this glove box and remove this panel as well and let's see how it goes that's what I'm going to do today to go about this I've got a set of plastic removers which I've got from Amazon but I guess you could just use a plastic screwdriver as well as long as you're careful not to damage 
the plastic parts and I've got a Phillips head screwdriver uh, I guess that's all you need to go about doing what we are about to do today first to remove this panel I'm going to remove both of these and we're going to remove it then I'm going to try to figure out where I can fix my old AC control one of the places where I'm thinking is below this right over here but then going to be a little difficult because the dimensions are a little different probably I might have to do some cutting once I remove the card holder let's see how that goes first let's get the head unit removed and then we we'll proceed from there to remove the head unit it's simple what we're going to do is we're going to just use this device fly over under that and gently start doing that all around now So that's one and that just comes off. But let's do the same here. Just need to press and then unplug it. And then leave it there. To remove the system, it's better if I come on the passenger side and then i uh, show you it just is a press fit with those clips so you gently remove it and then you need to remove the harnesses first we're going to remove this is the ac control panel so we're going to remove the connections for that and then there are two of these belong to the Pajero original unit. These ones, the grey ones, I'm going to show you that later. So once that is done, all that is left is for the this, the golden one here, which is threading into the back of the unit, is the GPS antenna. So I'm going to unthread that. This is the radio antenna. And then there are three of these harnesses which need to be removed. And the unit is out. Now that we've removed the central unit, the next thing is to find out where we're going to install the AC control. I don't need this card holder. So probably I'm going to remove that and then this is going to go in that position. This was the AC control unit used to sit here. That's where it used to sit. But then now it will have to be brought down a little lower. Shouldn't have an issue with the gear shift I hope. Now to remove the card holder, I'll have to remove this panel. And to remove this panel, it looks like I'll have to bring down this glove box and this panel because there are two of those nuts in here. And this panel is just a press fit again. So you, you, we use the same tool, get under it and slowly bring it out. There you go. And that reveals the three screws which are on it. There are two more screws underneath here, but they are not screws, they are nuts. So we'll have to get to them. This side panel also has to go. Which is again a press fit. Use the tool. And then it's got two legs which go in. So gently clamp that out. And this panel comes free. Okay, let's remove these screws. This is going to be one of them. That one there, which we'll have to remove.
so I've got both of them out. So to get this panel out, this is the screw which I was telling you about. So we need to undo that one. we're done on this side now we've got to do something similar on the other side as well we're going to remove this side piece we're going to remove this one and let's see where the screws are when you open the cover for the fuse box ah there you go there there's one there and there's one there blue two Pull this one out. And then you can see those legs there. And I'm going to gently pry it out. And we got that one out. We're going to remove this one. Oh yeah, there we go. There are no screws hiding under this so that means once we get the screw which is next to the fuse box this side should be free and that one once I remove that screw probably it's all press fit again over here so let's try and do that now gonna hold it at the bottom and give it a gentle yank and there you go it's free oh this side is free we're gonna to try to do the same thing on the other side and also use a blue tool to get under this one I'm gonna just gently yank it from the bottom There it comes through. That's it. We just need to expose this area just to get to this one particular screw. And once we're done that, we can open this panel. Try it. Panel three. Try to get this panel out. So this is a 2009 model car, and this section has never been opened. And you can look at the dust and the dirt in there. This pipe was connected over here, so that's the sensor for the. AC thermostat. That's the connection for a cigarette lighter and that should be the one for the rear diff lock. The card holder was just held by two screws over here so I've removed them and the card holder is free. Just going to put it here. Now this is the slot where I want to fix the AC.
Yes. So the outer panel is out. So we don't need that occupying any more space. So let me see. I'll have to cut these legs. So we're going to cut these. I've got a hacksaw blade here. Let me see. This is the job. The tapered part is too wide uh, to fit into this. So I didn't think I want to cut this one. I would rather cut this one since we already sacrificed this and this unit is going to be thrown out in case things don't work. As you will notice, there's a part missing. That's the interface between the, uh, the control and the AC unit. Now that part was transplanted into the, the Tesla unit. I'm going to show you how that can be brought back. So this is the back of our Tesla screen unit. So this is how it sits. So that means the AC controls are here. And this is the interface which I'm talking about. The one where the AC gets plugged into. So this has been removed and transplanted into this unit. And we got to remove it and take it back. circuit board so that's our interface it should now go back here I've just cut this this way so that now the entire thickness the taper part is gone and this hopefully should go in and at the same time it's still retaining the screws the screw holes for putting this PCB back so now I'm going to make the connection and do the installation part of it once more yes that's it down to this that's about it install the panel to screws Finishes that. I'm ready to install it back. Ah, it fits perfectly. Can be screwed down by two screws. But there's only one problem. It'll never go into park. It's fine up to reverse. Halfway to park, the gear shift lever touches here. So this is not going to work. So realizing the waste of time, I've gone back and removed this circuit board and installed it back into the Tesla unit. And then we're going to reinstall everything else now. Back how it was. The card holder is going to be coming back. No luck with that.
because uh, USB wires that should go here. So this harness. Now this is a spare harness. This is the output RCA cable of rear right, front left. So these are the four channels. Yeah. And this blue tip is the amp power to turn on the power of the amp. Anyway, though we don't need it right now, I'm going to leave it there. In case we need it at any stage, we can always use it later. So let it just hang there on the back of it. No harm done. Then we will put the last bit back. So that finishes our installation. Now we need to connect the GPS antenna. section before this one we need to get our two harnesses these two grey harnesses the small one first let me get these out of the way that, yeah. the small one goes in first and the grey one large one check to see if all systems are working okay it's located where we are so the GPS is definitely working and all that looks like one of these doors are open it's the rear back door which is open so let me go close that so 
I know the door sensors are all working. Let's try tuning into a channel. Steering controls are working. I can change channels. USB is working. Your camera is working. This is working as well. Now reinstall the AC parts. This one. Insert the wire. 